Hi guys, have you ever felt like you're not getting the best iteration when it comes to like making UI changes? Especially when you're working with like cursor. Today I'm going to show you how to make that quick fix. Alright, so let me just do a quick demo. Say for example, I want to remove this particular element here. You will see I have this kind of floating icon. So this is called StageWise. Okay, so StageWise is a tool that helps you to make easy prompts, right? That AI actually understands. So for example, once I um, click here now, I'm going to have access to this control. So what I want to do is, I don't want to see this tool tip again. Okay, um, this uh, note message. So I can select this and say, uh, please remove, remove this. Okay, click on send. All right. And you can see already what uh, StageWise does for you is actually it writes clear and clear code, um, clear prompts that Cursor will actually understand. Why that is trying to work? Let's just um, find out how we can install this. So what you want to do is you want to click on this drop down, okay, or this icon here, and select extensions. You want to search for StageWise. Click on StageWise install. Now once you install it, you have to always initialize it for each of your projects, okay. So this is the way of telling um, StageWise the kind of um, project you're working, whether it is in React, Next.js, and so on and so forth. So what you want to do now is press Command Shift. P because I'm using a Mac and then you want to click on this. So what this does is it actually auto set up the project for you so that you don't have to waste any time at all. So why it does that for you? Once it's done, you just need to restart your project and you are good to go. So you can see now it has done that already. And you can see just from the deep view you I can see that makes some deletions. So I can click on accept and I can come over here and you can see it's no longer there. So you can even make color changes, adjustment and so on and so forth. Okay. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Until then, see you later.